Hello, Archal. Hello, sir. Uh, Archal, I think you hail from Kanpur. Yes, sir. I am from Kanpur. Okay. So, tell me, who is the uh, mayor of Kanpur? Um, Kanpur's mayor is Pramila Pandey. Okay, perfect. And uh, who is the MP from Kanpur, member of parliament? Um, uh, maybe, uh, yes, sir. Satyadev Pachauri is the member of parliament. Excellent. Uh, who is the chief minister of your state, Uttar Pradesh? Yogi Adityanath is chief. What is his real name? Ajay Mohan Singh Bish is his real name. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what is your favorite subject? So my favorite subject is economics. Economics? Yes. Perfect. Micro or macro or both? Um, so mostly macro but I am comfortable with micro also. Mostly macro? Yes. Okay, perfect. Which institute is responsible for controlling the inflation in India? Um, uh, RBI. RBI. Okay, perfect. So, RBI, uh, how will RBI control the inflation of uh, potatoes in India? Suppose there is a inflation in the prices of the potatoes. Yes. Now, how RBI will intervene and control the inflation? Um, sir, um, they can uh, give, RBI can uh, give subsidies to farmers. Uh, so that uh, the prices of tomatoes can decrease. Also, um, there are various methods so they can decrease the prices of uh, tomatoes. Um, like, I mean, see, now suppose if they have to control the inflation in the prices of cars or maybe homes, so what will they do? They will increase the interest rate. They will increase the interest rate. So what will happen? Nobody is going to take the loan. Yes, so in the process, the automatically the uh, the inflation in the prices of the cars will go down because because of the supply and demand. Yes. Okay. But when you are going to uh, purchase the potatoes, nobody is going to take the loan yes. as long as you know. I think if you are uh, you know, uh, I mean, would say the uh, I would say as long as a household is concerned. Yes, sir. They won't be taking loan for that, but. Um, uh, our government can make a minimum support price for farmers, uh, which can, uh, which uh, for which they can buy the potatoes at cheaper rate and give uh, provide uh, people with uh, tomatoes at far lesser prices. Okay. So as far as the GDP is concerned, can you please tell me what is the full form of the GDP? Uh, GDP stands for gross domestic product. Perfect. So uh, as as far as the GDP is concerned. Yes, in real terms, so there are two types of GDP: real GDP, nominal GDP, then there is GDP, PPP, so so on and so forth. Yes. But as far as the real GDP is concerned, India's ranking in the world is fifth. Fifth. Um, they have just overtook. Um, which they, country? Uh, um, I'm not sure, but maybe Germany. Maybe Germany. No, Germany ranks fourth. Germany ranks fourth. Yes, okay, sir. Perfect. Um, United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Perfect. Then who's 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 ranked at number three? Japan. Japan. Two. China. One. Yes. Perfect. 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 Okay. So, uh, so what? Uh, uh, did you have any other subjects uh, uh, apart from this? Uh, economics. This thing? Yeah, economics. Um. Yes, sir. I am interested in accounts also. You are interested in accounts also. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. What is NP? MP stands for NPA. NPA, non-performing assets. And what is NPA? I mean, how would you I mean define NPA? Uh, so that's a full form of okay, NPA. How will you? Uh, NPA define? stands for non-performing assets. They are basically liability for an organization because uh, they does not uh, uh, non-performing asset does not uh, earn any money. They does not generate income for a firm. So that would be a liability for a firm. Um, can you please give me that sketch pen? So this is a sketch pen. Yes. It's sir. an asset for me. It's lying in that cup. Yes. Sir. So it's an NPA for me or not? Um, no, sir. Why? Why? Because uh, that can be used when you uh, want. Can be used. Okay. Yes, sir. Something which can be used is not NPA. No, sir. Uh, okay. Okay. I think it's no, sir. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. So, uh, have you heard about uh, this uh, the Mahindra Satyam scam? 
Mahindra scam. Uh, it's long back, long back. It's mm -hmm. not in the uh, news in the recent time. But uh, have you? What, what is recession? How do you define it? You must have heard the term recession. Yes, sir. So it is said that the Sri Lanka is under recession. Yes, sir. So when you say that a particular country is under recession, how? Would, what is the definition? Um, recession. Recession can be defined as when a country, uh, when in a country there is low employment and the production of goods and services also goes down because of because uh, people are not able to uh, buy new products and they mostly save money um, these all are the case uh, these all are the things that happens in a recession um, so sri lanka is currently in a recession because of uh, less forex reserves available with them so they cannot buy uh, lot of uh, they cannot export a lot of necessary items so that's why when a country is in basically for two years in a recession uh, for two years in a loss it, it it would be termed as a recession when a country is in uh, loss for uh, consecutively two terms yes two years consecutive two terms two terms means two years yes or two quarters two years two years right okay then it is down that the country is in recession. Yes, sir. Okay, 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 no problem. Okay, so what is the difference between cash flow statement and uh, the income statement? Cash flow statement. Um, cash flow statement. Cash flow statements. Yeah. Have you heard the term cash yes, flow sir. statement? Yeah, yeah. Uh, cash flow statements are a financial statement which shows the company's in cash inflow and outflow from basic major majorly from three activities that is operating activities investing activities and financing activities whereas if we talk about a profit and loss account or income statement that depicts the profit and the loss of a company in that particular year only so it considers of ex expenses and incomes what is current, current ratio current ratio is current assets upon current liabilities uh, um, Two ratio one is a favorable ratio for a company. Why do we do that? I mean, why do we calculate the current ratio? What is the meaning of? I mean, the practical uh, implication of the current ratio. Why the hell do we, you know, we calculate the current ratio at the first place itself? Uh, that depicts the liquidity position of a company. If the current assets are more than the current liabilities, the investors will be will be having a sh surety that the company. Uh, after selling the current assets, they can provide uh, their money back. They can give their money back. So, uh, these are some ratios which investors keep an eye on so that uh, before investing in that company, they can have an overview of whether the investments are risky or not. Whether investments are risky or not. And what would the profit uh, or loss? If the company is making loss or if the company is making profit, I mean, uh, which company is uh, favorable for the investor? Obviously, the profit-making company will be favorable for an investor. For an investor. But there are so many companies I'm, uh, I'm hearing nowadays, like Baidu is making billions of losses, uh, Flipkart is making losses, Amazon is making losses, Netflix is making losses, and I mean, uh, still there are a lot of investors investing their huge amount of sums into that company. If there is a potential that uh, maybe the company can rise back in future, the investors will surely want to invest. And investors also see that the share values, if the share value is undervalued, then people will always invest in those companies because uh, if the real value is intrinsic value is more than the uh, value which the market is offering, then the investors will uh, surely buy those shares. What is Sensex? Sensex is an indices that shows the that shows uh, it is the benchmark index of top thirty uh, top thirty companies listed on uh, listed on um, Bombay Stock Exchange. What is Nifty? Nifty is the uh, benchmark index of top fifty companies listed on National Stock Exchange. Where exactly NSC is located? National Stock Exchange. Mm. Um. I'm not sure. Bombay Stock Exchange is located. Bombay Stock Exchange is located in Bombay only. Mumbai only. In Mumbai only. Yes. Perfect. 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 Did you have maths in class 12? 
Yes, sir. My maths was applied maths. Applied maths. Yes, Perfect. Amazing. So, uh, what is the difference between median and average? Uh, you must have. You must have uh, studied this. These terms, yeah. Yes, sir. When we arrange numbers in an arranging or descending order, the middle term is named uh, called a median. Whereas, uh, sir, did you say mean? I said mean, yeah. Yes, sir. Mean, so, which means average. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mean is the average of all the numbers. Um, yes, sir. And what is the median? Median. When we arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order, the middle term is the median. What is the standard deviation? Standard deviation. Um, when we, uh, I know the relationship between variance and standard deviation, uh, but I, standard deviation basically tells us the range uh, at which we uh, range. It tells us the. Uh, can I draw? Yeah, please, please do that. Yeah, please do that. What is this? What is this, by the way? So this is um, inferential statistics. If we have a domain, and this is the range. So the range. What is the name of this curve? Um. Is there any name given to this particular curve? Have you heard of the normal distribution? Yes, sir. Is it a normal distribution curve? Yes, sir. How would you define a normal distribution curve? Uh, sorry, sir. My Weakest spot is inferential statistics only. Oh, so you are good at trigonometry, it seems. Are you good at trigonometry? Um, I'm okay, okay types. What is the value of cot thirty? Cot thirty is one by root three. Cot thirty is one by root three. What is the value of tan thirty? I'm sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Cot uh, thirty is root three, and tan thirty is one by root three. One by root three. Perfect. Perfect. Why IPM? Why do you want to do the IPM? It seems you are very good with the accounting and the ec economics. I think the natural uh, choice should be CA. Um, sir. Why IPM? Sir, I was always inclined towards management and business because when my father got retired from army, he decided to start. His poultry farm, which um, fascinated me to be an entrepreneur one day, and I think IPM will provide me with uh, that. Provide me with the base work, and also I also I'm also interested in management field. Um, I have recently started researching about stock markets also, and uh, the. Curriculum that IPM provides, especially I am in Dor, uh, is what in, inspired me to be a part of I am in Dor. It has everything what I wanted to study, like psychology, uh, sociology, maths, political science, foreign language, everything. Hi, Anshul, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? I am great. Thank you for asking. So, Anshul, why did you take a drop? Ma'am, I want it. I don't want to settle for less. I want. I think it's better to start late rather than starting with a wrong career. I always. I think it would be better to uh, take a drop for I am indoor rather than starting my career with a wrong college. So that's why I took a drop, and I was really interested in this course also. Okay. You are or you still are? I'm still are. Okay. Sure. So you said you recently started researching about the stock market, and you that has gained your interest. So, what is the difference between technical analysis and fundamental analysis? Uh, fundamental analysis are is basically going through the company's uh, in, uh, fundamental uh, financial statements. Mm -hmm. It is basically for long term investments. People prefer to go through fun, fundamental analysis. On the other hand, traders. Who uh, invest their money for short term uh, goes for technical analysis. Mm -hmm. They are like buying the stock when the prices of stock are lower and then selling the stocks at higher prices. But on the other hand, fundamental analysis is for a long period, like ten years, twenty years. Sure. Answer. Which country's flag is this? 
फ्रांस ओके हाउ अबाउट दिस आई एम नॉट श्योर मे बी ब्राजील आई सी इट्स रशिया एंड यूक्रेन ओ सॉरी सॉरी अह ओके सो आंचल हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ राज्यसभा करंट चेयर पर्सन ऑफ राज्यसभा सो एम आई डोंट नो ओके सो recently uh, we've had the appointment of the solicitor general of india so who is the new solicitor general of india hmm. i read this but currently i can't recall it can you tell me any news headline that you read recently um adani has now uh, said in his bonds for 1 12 100 Uh, 50 crore rupee uh, for a local currency bonds to pay. I see. Have you heard the word Hindenburg? Hindenburg. Hindenburg report, something like that. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. I have read it. I have uh, listened to it, but I don't know right now. Okay. Recently, we had the Chandrayaan three launch. I congratulate you as a fellow citizen of India. On this achievement, can you tell me where was it launched from? Where was the launch site? Um, I know it will launch today on Friday, uh, but on this site, I have heard a space agency where it will be launched. Um, I can't remember it, but it starts with S. Satish. Satish uh, Space Agency. Navan Space Center from. Which place? From Sri Hari Kota in Andhra. Okay, fair enough. Thank you so much for your time, Anshul, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much.